Haley out here from the American Digital Network studio. We are fortunate today to have a couple of very special guests here in studio with us as we look back to last week's marquee win in Memphis over UCLA. Quarterback Riley Ferguson and wide receiver Anthony Miller join us now via Skype. Hey guys, looking good. Looking real good. Um, I know you've been dealing with a ton of media attention this week. Um, what has it been like the past few days just having so many people wanting to talk to the guys that had great performances on Saturday? Uh, well, you know, uh, people, people, a lot of people have never wanted to talk to us before, so uh, we just gotta, we just gotta handle that in a professional manner, you know, um, just act like we've been there before and be prepared for next week. Exactly. I mean, I would say the same thing. I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who underlook us, you know, uh, coming into the season or even last year, and we've gotten used to that. So, you know, if we win a big game or something like that, we have a lot of people come and try and show us attention. But our main focus is just staying focused on ourselves, and we know what we're capable of. So as long as we, we just stay focused on ourselves, we'll be all right. Well, it was such a fun game to watch, and certainly watching all the coverage after it has been great. But something that's gotten quite a bit of attention uh, this past weekend, Anthony, we'll start with you. You sent out a tweet prior to the game. It was about the walk-ons versus the five-star recruits. Now, when you were writing that tweet and getting ready to send that out, uh, what was your thought process, and why was that message important to you to get out to your followers? Uh, yeah, you know, I was, I was never recruited out of high school. Uh, I was I was a walk on, of course, and I just I just feel like a, lo a lot of walk ons and uh, guys that are underrated uh, fail to receive the recognition or or people believe that they're not capable of competing with guys that were rated rank, ranked high, higher out of high school. So, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking about when I sent that tweet out. I was I was I was uh, just just referring to. The fact that I could I can compete, the rest of my team could compete with anyone in the country. Well, you, Anthony Miller, you had nine receptions for 185 yards and two touchdowns, named to this week's American Honor Roll. And the guy sitting next to you was this week's Offensive Player of the Week. Riley, I know you couldn't have gotten it done in this game without Anthony Miller. What's it like for you to have Anthony as your go-to wide receiver out there on the field? It's a blessing. I mean, uh... You know, having somebody like him who can go and make every play for me, I mean, he honestly makes me right when I when I do something wrong. When I throw the ball, throw a bad ball, he'll go make a play for me. So, I mean, it's just a blessing having him out there for me, and we have a lot of fun. And, you know, our chemistry since I've gotten here, it, it's just gotten better and better every day. Anthony, for viewers that were watching this game all across the country this week, they're probably like, hey, this guy doesn't really look like a walk-on. Uh, what has kept you motivated to get you to the point in your career where you're having a lights-out performance on national TV against one of the top teams in the country? Yeah, I've always known I could, I could compete with you know anyone in the country just as long as I uh, stay the course, just stick to what I've been doing, uh, working hard, just doing the things that got me here. So. Just not doing anything new, not li not uh, feeding into the hype, just uh, staying focused on my teammates in the game. Now for you, Riley, you were highly recruited out of high school, spent one year at Tennessee, and I think it's been really interesting for people all over the country. They've really learned your story this week and your journey. Uh, after you left Tennessee, you had a couple of jobs while you were still trying to figure out how exactly to get back into college football. What does it mean to you now to be in the position that you're in at Memphis? Um, I'm just, you know, blessed to be here. Um, you know, I have to give all glory to God. Without him, I wouldn't be here. So, I mean, you know, just the journey that I've been on, I think it's helped me out more than anything. Uh, you know, it's helped turn me into who I am today. So I think I look at it as a positive, to be honest. I mean, I know I had to go through some struggles, but everybody does. So, you know, I kind of look at it at it as a positive, and I try and you know take the good things away from it. And I think it's shaped me to who, into who I am today. Anthony, watching Saturday's game, um, there were so many great plays, and you were a part of a lot of those uh, top catches, top plays that we look back on. You in particular, looking at you playing in that game, you just looked like you were having so much fun out there. I mean, the celebrating, the smiling um, on the sidelines. At what point in the game did you think, hey, I'm really feeling it and I can catch just about anything right now? <laughs> um, really, the turning, well, not a turning point, but the, the moment I knew that it was going to be a great game for us is the first play when Daryl broke that long run and I was running out in front of him blocking. 
uh, I just knew it was, it was going to be a big day for us. We, we practiced perfect all week. Um, our walkthroughs were perfect, and I just knew things were going to go great for us. It was a team win offensively, defensively. You guys all came together to get this one done. What was Coach Norvell's message to you guys in the locker room after you kind of got off the field? You guys gave him the ice bath. What did he say to you guys in the locker room after this game? He was just saying, you know, great job, way to go out and, you know, stay focused. There was a lot of hype going into the game and, you know, a whole bunch of, whole bunch of things that we could have got distracted on. But at the end of the day, he said, you know, we, we came out and showed everybody in the country what Memphis football is all about. So, you know, that was the main thing we were trying to show everyone. And you know, as long as we go out and focus on ourselves and we're all playing together as one, and you know, we give, our, give ourselves a shot to go out and beat anybody. We talked about it. You guys have been getting quite a bit of attention the past few days. We caught you all on Sports Center earlier this morning, too, so that was a fun one to watch. But um, kind of refocusing, regrouping. You guys have another game this Saturday, so you can't harp on this one uh, for too long. Riley, as a leader and as the quarterback of this team, how do you get the team to kind of shift gears and, and take the good lessons away from this one, but really kind of look past it and get ready for the next thing? Uh, we just have to stay focused. I, I, I think something that helps with that is, you know, just Memphis, we've, we've had multiple years where we've beaten top 25 teams, and, and I think we have to, you know, get used to doing that because the, the program we're building, we're trying to, you know, progress every single day. And, you know, we go out and beat a top 25 team. That's not the end of the season. That's not, that's not going to make our season. We still have 10 more games to play, um, you know, so we have to go out and give, give every team our best shot. So we know that you guys have really great on-the-field chemistry. You certainly have proven that in the past, but especially this Saturday. Um, Anthony, how would you describe your relationship with Riley off the field? Uh, off the field, you know, it, it's, it's the same thing. We're, we're best friends off the field. You know, we go eat, you know, do anything, hang out. We do, we do everything together. So, you know, it's, it's, it's no different. You know, the vibe's still the same. Um, that, that's my brother at the end of the day. Okay, so you guys are friends, you hang out a little bit together um, off of the field, and for all of us, we only get to see what you guys are doing on the field. So before I let you guys go, I have to, of course, put you on the spot a little bit. Riley, you have to tell us a funny Anthony Miller story. What's something that we all don't get to see that you get to see uh, when you're hanging out with Anthony? Um, people who play 2K, I play with the shot meter. He doesn't play with the shot meter, so we always argue about that. So You can't play with the shot meter on no, 2K. You got to play with the shot meter. No, you can't. It's, because it's not right. It, I don't play 2K enough to know every team. You, you know? got to use your skill to know the player's shot. You well, know, yeah, shot that, that, that's really the main thing. We just always argue, we're always arguing over something small. And I'm the best 2K player. <laughs> So you guys are clearly playing video games, right? Then when you're not out, this is how you relax the body, relax the mind to uh, to get ready for uh, practice in the game the next weekend. Then, yeah, All outside right. outside of um, outside of football, we're we're just regular kids, man. But uh, <laughs> we, we do everything the right way, um, so there's nothing to worry about off the field. But yeah, we're 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 just regular guys that just happen to be talented at football. Well, it was so much fun watching you guys last weekend, and we wish you all the best in your coming games. And you have one this weekend before you start conference play and, and really get rolling. So we hope to have you guys back on and, and keep doing big things. You guys are fun to watch, so thank you. All right, thank <laughs> you for having me. Thank you. All right, we'll see you. Good luck this weekend. You can catch the Memphis Tigers this Saturday. Kickoff is set for 8 p.m. Eastern against Southern Illinois. Then it's conference play the rest of the way, a game that was rescheduled against UCF set for the following Saturday. We're going to have coverage for you on the Memphis Tigers the rest of the season. Thanks for joining us on this special edition with Anthony Miller and Riley Ferguson via Skype. Have a great day, everybody.